Craig, first off, how's, uh, how's the winter been? A busy one for you? Yeah, very busy. Um, obviously, a lot of travelling, um, a lot of cricket, but um, you know, quite beneficial towards um, you know, my development as a player. Uh, what were the highlights? Uh, obviously, um, you know, the, the series against Pakistan, uh, the one days and the 2020s, to obviously come back and win those you know, after, after losing in India is, uh, is a real high and it shows the character of the side. Uh, it's an unbelievable performance against Pakistan, given the, the performance in the test matches. Mm. Uh, England looking good in the one days. Yeah, after quite a short turnaround, um, you know, it shows that, uh, like I said, the character in the side is, is obviously pretty tough, but also that the guys are prepared to put the hard yards in, you know, to get the results. Uh, are England becoming a, a very decent one-day outfit now? Yeah, you know, hopefully a bit better than decent, but, um, you know, in the past we've probably been a bit in inconsistent, um, you know, and recently over the past year or two years we're, we're trying to rectify that and, and hopefully become a bit more of a, um, a consistent force. So for your summer ahead now in the English summer, you're looking to play many more international matches? I'd like to think so, um, you know, but for me it's, it's obviously about playing for Somerset first and foremost um, before any of the, uh, the one-day games start. So uh, we've got a few Champo games and, the, and then a few one-day games, so, so all my focus is on those. And now Somerset, uh, well documented, last couple of seasons have got off to a pretty ordinary start. Uh, you, how are you going to rectify that? I'm going to try and win some games of cricket. Um, you know, we've had a really good pre-season, a lot of team building. Um, and and results-wise, for the friendlies that we've played, we've, uh, we've tried to take the games a lot more seriously and actually as if they were competitive matches. So pre-season's gone well. Um, one more game to go and then we're uh, off and running in the season. Uh, what kind of team building exercises do you have to do? Oh, we went away down in Devon for a, uh, an outdoor sort of team building exercise where uh, tents and camps and, uh, and sort of an outdoor lifestyle. So to see some of the guys doing that was, uh, was quite interesting. Uh, who was the, uh, the star there? Um, the star was probably Jamal. He was, uh, he was pretty good outside, but probably the worst was, uh, was Trez. <laughs> uh, not, not a good camper? No, no, Trez likes his luxuries and his Haribo, so um, for, the, for those two days he was uh, severely out of his comfort zone. Uh, the other thing about Somerset, of course, is everyone knows that you keep finishing second in things, so that's the one thing you've got in, in that team building exercise. Is that kind of thing you talk about? Um, not really, you know, we just look at, uh, at developing ourselves as players and as, as a team. Um, you know, from five years ago to where we are now is, is a massive difference and a huge improvement, but um, we'd rather come second in every competition than, than come last, so... It shows that we're a, a pretty consistent side. Um, we, we do well, we play good cricket, um, and we're always in the reckoning. So for us, it's still about developing. Um, you know, and hopefully this season we can, we can get, uh, get over the line. 2020, we'll wait to see how much of that you'll play with England playing the West Indies at the same time. But Somerset have got a quite unbelievable looking team, aren't they? Yeah, it looks pretty decent, actually. <laughs> um, we're really excited about the signings that we've, uh, we've acquired. Um, you know, and hopefully we can, we can continue that sort of 2020 form that we've uh, that we've been doing so well over. Tough for you, you know. You want to be playing for England, of course, but you'll be missing the opportunity to play the same side as Albie Morkel and Chris mm -hmm. Gale, and of course you've got your captain as well and some other big hitters. I guess you'd like to be part of that team. Yeah, without a doubt, it's obviously really exciting. So, you know, hopefully um, we can keep filling the uh, the stadium up. We've we've had some great support over the past few years, um, but like you said, to have uh, obviously the Gale Force and uh, and Banger going out to open is um, is pretty exciting. I think. Uh, the championship that looks like a very open division this year. Yeah, it does. You know, we've uh, we've looked at that and seen that obviously our first two games are quite crucial for us. Uh, in the past, like you said, we've started pretty badly, so we've put quite a big emphasis on trying to get some good results there. Um, but we're not going to look too far ahead either. We we would first two games and then we'll uh, reassess and, and make a plan from there. Is it good to start with one of the newly promoted sides in Middlesex? Oh, I wouldn't say anything. I mean, uh, they obviously being newly promoted, they're going to be quite keen. Um, to kind of stamp their authority on the on the league, so it's going to be quite a tough game, I'd uh, you know I'd assume. And uh, for us, it's about obviously that first session in the morning. Well, best of luck. Have a great season for both Somerset and England. Thank you. Thanks very much.